Welcome to this WLSME tutorial on groups. As a member of a group, you have many options to engage with other members. This video provides a quick orientation for how to navigate within groups. Before we get started, let's go over the difference between open and moderated groups. Moderated groups are private and require you to send a request to join, while open groups are just that, open to everyone. In an open group, even non-group members can view group activities, discussions, and resources, although they can't actively participate unless they join. In a moderated group, non-group members can only view a basic description of the group, nothing more. Now, let's get started. From the group homepage, you can navigate to many sections within the group through the group menu. This is the gray navigation bar under the group title. From the group homepage, you have the option to post an update to the group activity board. This is a quick way to post a simple message. Posting a message here might be useful if you want to introduce yourself, pose a logistical question to the entire group, announce an event, or make a brief announcement. After you click Post Update, your message will appear in the group's activity feed. It is also emailed to everyone in the group. The group activity feed aggregates all working group activity. Check back often to see what other members are posting. You can also post an update from the Updates section. To begin a more in-depth conversation with other group members, choose the Discussion tab from the navigation bar and click the New Discussion button. On this page, enter a title for your post and add your comment in the Body section. If you want to, you can use the horizontal toolbar to apply some basic formatting options. Designate the group type from the drop-down menu and then click Save to post your discussion comment. You'll be taken to a page with your comment posted at the top and a space for replies underneath. Whenever a new discussion is started or someone responds to an existing discussion, all group members will receive an email. While group discussions must be initiated from the group space on the website, you have the option to respond to an existing discussion thread either through the website or via email using the reply feature. If you submit a response by email, please be patient as it may take a while for your post to appear on the site. If you respond from within the group on the website, you have the option to reply to an individual comment or to the entire discussion thread. To reply to the thread, click on the title of the discussion from the Discussion tab main page, then enter your comment in the Group Comments text box. To reply to an individual comment, scroll down on the same page to where the individual responses are listed and find the comment you want to reply to, then click Reply. When you reply to an individual, your comment will appear indented under their original comment. Group members also have the ability to share resources with one another. These documents and tools will not be included in the WLSME library, but in the case of an open group, non-group members will still be able to view them and they will appear in site-wide search results. As you would expect, moderated group resources are only visible to group members. Click on the Resource tab to see your group's current resource library and to share your own documents, tools, and external links. If you have content that you want to share with the group, click Add Resource. A new form will open with three separate tabs along the left side. On the Resource Description tab, add the title of the resource and a short description. Select the type of resource it is and make sure under Group Audience that the correct working group is selected. In the second tab, enter the author and publication information. In each field, a name that has been previously entered may appear as you type. Only one author may be entered in each author field, but you can add additional authors by clicking Add Another Item. The Organizational Author field allows you to indicate which organization the author or authors work for, but it could also be used if the resource doesn't have an individual author, like in the case of a fact sheet or a website. The Institution field is usually used to reflect the donor or sponsor of the resource, even if they didn't actually author it. Finally, enter the publishing date. In the third tab, attach your resource. This page has multiple options. First, choose the correct resource format from the drop-down menu. Most likely, the most relevant options will be File Uploads and External Links. For File Uploads, click Choose File to browse to your file. 
Once you've selected it, click on the Upload button and enter a short title for the file. For external links, add a short title and the web address in the fields provided. You can always add multiple files or links by clicking on the Add Another Item button. Related Content is an optional field that lets you select other pages on the site that are relevant to your resource. Start typing the name of the page and a list of options will begin to appear. Keep in mind that these pages aren't restricted to group content. Finally, click Save to submit the resource. To wrap up our tour of the site's working groups, there are a few other group features we'd like to cover with you. In the directory, you can view all the current group members of the working group. Click on an individual's name to view their full profile. Under the Dates tab, you can submit information related to various group-specific events, trainings, meetings, conference calls, or due dates. Enter a title and a description and fill out the date and time information. You can select the format of the event or meeting and add a tag that further describes the purpose. Again, make sure that under Group Audience, the correct working group is selected, then click Save. After your date has been submitted successfully, all group members will receive an email announcing the activity. Hopefully this video has provided a thorough orientation to online engagement through our site's group functionality. For any additional assistance, please visit the FAQ tabs or feel free to contact us.